Hey guys, welcome to the Cord Mac. Uh, if you are new to the channel, please do subscribe. We solve a lot of competitive problems. Today's problem is uh, a two city scheduling. So the problem says there are two n people a company is planning to interview. The cost of the flying the ith person to the CTA is cost i of zero, and the cost of flying ith person to city B is cost of i of 1 so we have a two dimensional matrix of cost as given a zero index says uh, cost to travel uh, to the city a and uh, first index having a cost to travel city b return the minimum cost to fly every person uh, to a city such that exactly n person arrives in each city so uh, what we are expecting in a result is we want to get a minimum cost but the constraint is uh, each city having a there are two n uh, uh, people in a company so we have to each city should have total n uh, person visited for the interview so we need to get the minimum uh, cost of the flying to city a as well as b for the n n uh, number of persons so let's understand with the example so here the cost matrix is given uh, 10 and 20 so 10 uh, is uh, person to travel uh, a city and 20 is to travel city b same goes for the other person here we have a total uh, number of persons is equal to 4 and the cost is equal to 110 now let's understand so out of given a 10 and 20 the first person goes to city a for a cost of 10 so because between uh, a and b uh, first person uh, uh, has selected to uh, travel to city a second has selected to again travel uh, to the city a and next two persons selected to travel to b because we also want to get a minimum out of it so total uh, minimum cost is 10 plus 30 plus 50 plus 20 so all uh, force total is equal to 110 that is what the total minimum cost we can get out of a uh, given uh, cost matrix now let's understand the solution approach for this problem all right so we have written uh, uh, city a and b and with respect to that what the uh, cost it is going to be to travel city a so this is your uh, uh, cost uh, matrix uh, okay now let's say instead of uh, traveling on about the city let's consider in this way so let's say if we are only traveling to the uh, city a so let's say uh, if we are only traveling to the city a for all the persons uh, what is the cost total cost it is going to be so it is going to be always a total of all these numbers from uh, city a okay now as in the problem statement it is given like we also want the person or the number of person to be divided equally so, so half of the person needs to travel a and half of the person needs to travel b so let's say we have considered all to travel a and we would like the half of the person to travel B also. Now how to select which all best uh, suitable person or having a low cost to travel B. How to get those uh, N by 2 or uh, half of the person from the B. So to get that we can do one thing is like we can see like what is the cost to travel A for this person with respect to B. Whether it is possible to select uh, Location B for this person instead of selecting uh, A, right? Okay, and this we need to check for all the all the locations because we cannot directly select this uh, person to travel B directly uh, uh, without comparing the other difference with this pairs, right? Okay, so we can we can do one thing like we can let's say here the difference between these two uh, are two two uh, cost is let's say uh, if we go with this way uh, let's say instead of uh, a we will take b minus a so let's say difference between these two is uh, 10 min uh, 20 minus 10 is equal to 10 same for the second pair so it is having cost difference is 30 so that is going to be 170 okay uh, here it is going to 50 minus uh, 400 so it is going to be minus 350 okay and same goes for this one 20 minus 30 so 
it is going to be minus 10 okay so this is what the uh, difference between the uh, cost if we travel uh, to B instead of A okay so this data gives a better understanding like instead of uh, for first two person instead of the travels to B it is okay or it is good to travel a location A and if you see the last two person it is good uh, they travel to uh, B because the cost to travel B is less uh, for these two persons okay so how to get this data like how to uh, uh, get this two person data or to select these two persons uh, which are having a less cost with respect to the all other uh, given person so what we can do here is uh, what are the result we have right uh, in the delta let's say we call it as a delta okay so we can make a heap or priority queue of this data and we can hold the this value so first uh, when you have a 10 so it will be value will be 10 and then uh, 170 because it is always in a uh, increasing order and then when you have minus 1 minus 350 so it is going to be first element and again minus 10 okay so this gives a clear idea like this first two is going to be your uh, your persons which is uh, 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 having a which which they are going to travel to point B okay now previously how can we get a total minimum cost so previously you already calculated a uh, total uh, minimum cost travel to A so let's say this is going to be uh, 10 plus 30 plus 400 plus 30 okay now here the difference is 350 so we already added a 400 and instead of uh, this person to travel to B we would like that person to travel to this location like B okay so we already added a 400 we can take the first delta because the delta is going to be minus 350 we would like to add a 50 instead of 400 so you can your whatever the total minimum cost till now and you can add a delta of the first person okay this way we are neglecting the 350 which is going to, which we already added as extra uh, to the uh, your total minimum cost same way you can repeat this till the n by 2 okay so it gives like fair idea like for this n by 2 person we have added distance from p instead of a so this way we can achieve the total minimum cost now let's go back to the code editor and go through the code now let's uh, understand the code so first we have defined a, a total sum which is we are interested to return and then length of the whatever the given number of persons and uh, we have divided that length because from uh, half of the person we would also like to get it from the b okay and then we define a priority queue which is again based on a normal uh, order it will short based on an increasing order okay we'll iterate it over uh, through zero to the length and then this is what the uh, cost from the a if we 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 are planning to travel all the persons to the city a then we are accumulating those total cost to the sum okay and then as we discuss we are also maintaining the delta to travel b instead of a so we are we are adding that difference or delta to the priority queue now this condition suffice when you you already calculated a half of the person's delta okay now if your i is greater than half of your delta then at that time we also would like to start picking a delta and add it so this will suffice a condition where we would like to take half of the person so this two from the b so when we reach to the n by 2 we would like to go to the uh, peak priority queue and start taking a delta from there so we are adding the delta to just uh, settle the entry between a and b okay and then we are returning the sum so that's it in the code let's run this code okay it got finished so this is what the expected output let's submit it 
okay it got submitted so that's it in this video hope you like it uh, please add comments if you have a different approach or you are looking for a solution for a different problem thank you guys